it's Elisa here. So today I want to make a video about intuitive eating and um, I have planned more intuitive eating videos so you can look up for my ch channel from time to time in case I add some new ones and yeah I think I haven't talked about intuitive eating very much so it's about time to talk about intuitive eating. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I just want to say that intuitive eating in recovery, it might be hard to do at first because you just, uh, you have so many like eating disorder habits and some people ex experience like extreme hunger and they don't know their hunger cues and uh, yeah, it can help to eat like uh, regularly, make sure you eat everything or, or like make sure you eat something in every 2-3 hours it's just like following some recovery guidelines but in every recovery you can still start to like practice intuitive eating from the start but yeah you just have to know that at first maybe it's not so easy but it's normal and even I like I wasn't intuitive eater at first or when I started my recovery but I started to like practice it and notice my hunger cues and stuff like that and then after recovery I was back to intuitive eating so even in recovery it's beneficial to learn about intuitive eating and how to trust your body signals but yeah then again like in recovery uh, it might not happen like overnight and that's okay but anyway I want to make videos about intuitive eating and uh, I thought about some interesting subject I want to talk about and the first subject or interesting uh, idea was that uh, last week I had a Skype conversation with my friend and uh, at the moment she's taking this uh, course to become a professional trainer and in the course in the nutrition class her teacher told her that uh, there is no such thing as intuitive eating so I think it's like a good subject to start uh, maybe explain like what the intuitive eating is because I think people who don't believe in intuitive eating uh, they don't maybe know like what it actually is maybe people think that intuitive eating is uh, eating only junk food and processed food because it tastes good or something or yeah just following your taste buds and uh, what's tasty at any given moment and they think this is intuitive eating and yes in some uh, aspect this is part of intuitive eating but this is not the whole concept of intuitive eating in intuitive eating you will listen to your body as a whole meaning that yes your cravings uh, what do you like to eat or uh, what appeals to you in any given moment but also taking account some like physical signals or how your body feels and uh, also listening to your brain and taking in account some nutritional knowledge and using some common sense with food so as you can see intuitive eating is listening whole your body and it includes like having some nutritional common sense about food and to know about nutrition you don't have to have like a degree in nutrition it, everybody has some common understanding about nutrition for example like it's beneficial to eat uh, more whole foods more fruits and vegetables and uh, it's not very good idea or very good for your body to eat like only junk food and processed food all the time and that's it and you don't have to know I don't know every chemical aspect of food or or whatever and uh, it can be beneficial but still I think people who know too much about nutrition can just like drive themselves crazy and this can be one of the reasons that people uh, forget how to trust their body because they they start to trust their uh, knowledge and what they have read in the books like too much 
and they forget about sometimes like trusting your body signals when it says that okay today I feel like I want to have this french fries because I'm out with my friends I'm in this like market or whatever and there's this delicious french fries and I just want to have it and it's okay and this brings me to the second point why people don't believe there is such thing as intuitive eating is that uh, they can be the people who uh, know too much about nutrition for example me I know I knew like too much about raw food and uh, eating like clean and whole plant foods and whatever and that's why I I forgot how to trust my body and I went only with my like knowledge about food and uh, every time I craved something unhealthy I didn't trust my body I didn't listen to it I thought it's uh, my body is stupid it's a food addiction or whatever and I didn't listen to my body and if you do it far too long then yes you can forget how to eat intuitively and uh, you just don't know how to do it anymore because you have been in this dieting mindset the diet brainwash just so long time and uh, yeah and the other thing is that when people have been dieting and following rules following what somebody else says is good for them or bad for them or reading books or taking some nutrition courses or or uh, listening to some health gurus and stuff and I'm not saying like do not trust anybody or do not trust or read anything about nutrition but I'm just saying that make sure you don't go like over like way over the line when you just it will like drive you crazy and uh, those people know too much about nutrition and uh, or they have like dieted so long time and for example when one day they decide that okay let's give this intuitive eating a shot let's see if it's working or not <laughs> and straight after dieting they start or try to eat intuitively and they're like okay today I feel like having a hamburger so I'm gonna have it and then they have this other craving another craving another craving like cakes and candy and pasta and uh, whatever uh, whatever they have been deprived of because generally if you crave some food very very strong if you obsess about this food like so so much if this food makes you binge brawn, <laughs> makes you overeat on this food, then it's very likely that this is the food you have been uh, restricting. And this is the food you always say to, say to yourself that I can't have it or if I have it, I'm only going to have one piece and that's it because this food is so unhealthy. But when you allow yourself to have this food, like by intuitive eating or listening to your body, and coming straight from dieting the hunger cues won't be in balance overnight and that's why we have uh, a period of recovery and that's why our body needs recovery time and uh, but to them but to them this is the proof that intuitive eating does not work because you see Whenever I let myself eat this food, eat as much as I want or whatever, I end up binging. I end up only eating junk food for weeks and weeks and this is unhealthy and you see my body doesn't know how to eat normally and therefore it doesn't work. <laughs> but yeah, they have to understand that if you come from dieting, your whole body signals are messed up and you are out of balance. And to get to the balance and intuitive eating where you can trust your body and do uh, eat unconsciously not paying like attention all the time of what you eat and your body can instinctively make the best choices each meal and it can be very automatic to get 
to this point our body needs a period of recovery and this is why I wrote my book I don't know where's my book but anyway this is why I wrote my book about recovery because this is essentially what will lead us to or back to intuitive eating and uh, and yeah and this is uh, what I share from my experience because now like after coming from bulimia and orthorexia I went through recovery about one year and I had extreme hunger, I was still overeating, uh, I had so many cravings, I was uh, eating so many like unhealthy foods many days in a row or weeks or months. Uh, yes, and it was all normal for recovery. But now I'm back to balance, intuitive eating, I don't have to... Um, uh, think about food or I don't obsess about it I can't even like overeat anymore or uh, feel like I don't feel like pinching and my eating is in balance and I eat uh, healthy foods but also like any other food I crave and I don't have this good and bad food mindset anymore and this is all because I went through recovery it didn't happen overnight and yeah, by my own experience, intuitive eating definitely is possible and it exists and uh, to me it feels uh, the most natural way of eating. Um, so yeah, this is the video I wanted to make. Um, you can let me know what you think and thank you for watching. Please subscribe somewhere down below. <laughs> subscribe for future videos and uh, yeah, so see you soon. Bye.